Hi all, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we are going to work on the on the submarine pro propeller, and uh, you can see here uh, the toolpath that was generated uh, by uh, Pike M. Um, that I want to do in the first step, uh, I want to test the toolpath on a soft material. So that's why um, you can see uh, on the CNC machine just here. And the soft material that I want to test. Um, I will use a very small tool bits. Uh, it's uh, only two millimeters uh, spherical uh, end mill, uh, a carbide end mill. And um, the, the the concern I have with that tool pass, and I, I'm not sure that uh, the result would be very um, very good. So that's why I first made a prototype on a soft material. The second thing is um, with the soft I use with Spycam, uh, you cannot control the speed uh, on the three uh, axes differently. Uh, what I mean is the fact that uh, if you define a speed for um, X and Y, it will automatically uh, use the same speed for the Z axis. So uh, for the plunge speed, it could be a concern, so that's why I want to test it on a soft material first to see uh, how the, the, it will react, and uh, then I will will uh, see on a hard material how the, does it work.
So here it is the result um, of the 3D carving. Um, it uh, it looks uh, pretty nice and smooth, and maybe you can see the here the surface finish. Uh, uh, so I use uh, this small um, this small mill and mill just to have a, a, a good surface finish. Um, the running time was around uh, 16 minutes for a 3 inch by 3 inch uh, dimension and um, the remaining things is to flip over uh, the, the model to make the same bureau and uh, to machine the, the back face uh, of, the, of the soft material um, so pretty nice and pretty happy with the result and um, maybe you can see the surface here so not so bad um, we will see with other material what could be the results thanks for watching